Imagine a life where your days are not dictated by alarm clocks or morning commutes, but by what brings you joy. What would you do if money was no longer your master? Would you travel more? Spend more time with loved ones? Or would you start that business you've always dreamt about? Welcome to our deep dive into the true essence of financial freedom. It's not just about having enough money to stop working, it's about mastering your time to live life on your terms. Imagine not living paycheck to paycheck, not being tethered to a desk from 9 to 5, not having to make decisions based on fear of financial ruin, but rather based on what makes you happiest. Financial freedom means your life isn't dictated by debts or employment but by your dreams and passions. The most valuable aspect of financial freedom is time freedom. Time is the one resource we all have in common, but it's also incredibly fleeting. You cannot store it, save it, or borrow it. Once it's gone, it's gone. That's why achieving financial freedom is so impactful. It gives you the power to decide how best to use your time. Whether that's more time spent with family, more time traveling the world, or more time devoted to causes that matter deeply to you. True financial freedom is about creating a life that balances the pursuit of wealth with the pursuit of passions. It's about making smart decisions now investing in assets, saving more than you spend, and finding ways to generate income without trading away all your time. This kind of freedom isn't about living extravagantly it's about living richly, with experiences and time well spent. So, as we explore this concept further, think about what financial freedom would mean for you. What would you do if your time was completely your own? How would you fill your days if money were no object? These aren't just daydreams, they are the potential reality for those who reach for and achieve financial independence. Let's keep these questions in mind as we delve deeper into the levels of financial freedom. Each level represents a closer step towards not just managing wealth, but also reclaiming time the most precious commodity we have. As we unravel the concept of financial freedom, it becomes clear that there are distinct levels each person might experience on their journey. Understanding these levels helps to visualize the path from financial dependence to independence and ultimately, complete time freedom. First level, the wage earner at the base level, we find the wage earners. These individuals trade their time directly for money. Picture someone working a traditional 9-to-5 job. Their income is directly tied to the hours they work. If they stop working, their income stops as well. There's little to no leverage, and their financial and time freedom are minimal. For many, this level is constrained by a simple equation, more hours worked equals more money earned, and vice versa. Second level, the self-investor moving up. We encounter the self-investors. These are the individuals who invest in themselves to increase their value over time. They might return to school, learn new skills, or start side projects that have the potential to generate additional income. This level is about beginning to decouple your time from your income, leveraging your increased skills for greater earnings than your time alone could sell for. Third level, the passive income earner. At the third level, we find those who have successfully created or acquired assets that generate income independently of their time. This could be through rental properties, dividends from investments, or royalties from creative works. Here, individuals start to see their money working for them. The direct link between time and money begins to blur, and their financial decisions start to bear fruit, providing income streams that do not require active management. Fourth level, the time capitalist highest level of financial freedom is where we meet the time capitalists. These individuals have used their resources to create substantial streams of passive income or have invested in businesses that do not require their day-to-day -day involvement. They might own multiple businesses or large investment portfolios that are managed by others. At this stage, their time is no longer tied to income generation at all. They have complete freedom to choose how they spend their days, as their assets generate enough income to support their lifestyle indefinitely. At each level, the key factor that shifts is how much your income is tied to your direct efforts. As we move from wage earners to time capitalists, we see a transition from active income, where time equals money, to passive income, where the relationship between time and money is more flexible and favorable. This evolution allows for greater freedom, not just financially but in terms of life choices and time management. Achieving each level involves a mix of discipline, strategic thinking, and sometimes, a bit of luck. But the principles are the same invest in yourself, 
Diversify your income sources and maximize the value of your time. As you climb these levels, you move closer to the ultimate goal of financial freedom, the ability to live life on your own terms, without financial constraints dictating your choices. Remember, each upward step on this ladder not only increases your financial buffer but also enhances your ability to control how you spend the most non-renewable resource you have your time. As we journey through the landscape of financial freedom, understanding the levels is just the beginning. The real challenge lies in navigating the path from one level to the next. Each transition requires not just a change in financial strategies but a shift in mindset. Let's explore the actionable steps that can help you climb the ladder of financial freedom. Transitioning from the first to the second level leap from being a wage earner to becoming a self-investor is all about education and skill acquisition. If you're working a traditional job, start setting aside a portion of your income for personal development. This could mean taking online courses to enhance your skills, attending workshops, or even pursuing further education. The goal is to increase your value in the marketplace which in turn, can lead to higher income opportunities. Additionally, consider starting a side hustle. It's not just about earning extra money, it's about learning how to manage and grow a business, a skill that's invaluable at higher levels of financial freedom. Moving from the second to the third level, the transition to becoming a passive income earner is where your approach to income generation must evolve. Begin by identifying opportunities to invest in assets that can generate income without your direct involvement. This might mean buying rental property, investing in the stock market, or creating digital products that sell themselves. The key here is diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different assets to mitigate risk and ensure a steady stream of passive income. Remember, patience is crucial. Building passive income streams takes time, but the payoff is the freedom they bring. Ascending from the third to the fourth level reaching the pinnacle of financial freedom, becoming a time capitalist, involves leveraging your assets and investments to create more wealth with minimal personal time. Investment. This is the stage where strategic investment and delegation come into play. Consider hiring a property manager for your rental properties or a financial advisor to manage your investment portfolio. The idea is to free up your time while your investments continue to grow. For those who are entrepreneurial, this might be the time to start a business with a scalable model, one that can eventually run without your day-to-day -day involvement. The common thread, mindset shift across all these transitions, one element remains constant, the need for a mindset shift. Each level requires you to think differently about money, time, and work. It's about moving from a mindset of trading time for money to one where your money and your investments work for you. Embrace continuous learning, be open to taking calculated risks, and most importantly, cultivate patience. Financial freedom is not achieved overnight. It's the result of consistent, strategic efforts over time. As we wrap up, remember that the journey to financial freedom is deeply personal. Your path may look different from others, and that's okay. What's important is setting clear goals, adopting the right strategies, and staying committed to your vision of freedom. Financial independence isn't just about the wealth you accumulate, it's about the freedom it affords you to live life on your terms. So, take these strategies, adapt them to fit your journey, and step boldly toward the life you've always dreamed of. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of financial freedom. Here's to your success, as you navigate your path to not just financial security, but true time sovereignty. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell.